Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rush the Soviet Gamer and I'm here to uh, play the second session of Resident Evil Zero. And yeah, I know it's been a while so <laughs> it's probably going to take me a little bit of time to catch up with the story. Uh, so, well, without further ado, let's begin again. <laughs> right then, let's load right in. Loading content. Please do not turn off the PC. Well, yeah, uh, the reason why I... Uh, why I... Never mind. Zero. <laughs> so, yeah, the main reason why I haven't played this game in a while is because I've been busy with work and everything like that. So, yeah, uh, generally, because I was busy, that's why there hasn't been any content uploaded for a while. But anyway, I'm here for another couple of hours of uh, Resident Evil Zero. Quite excited for it, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I missed it quite a lot, actually. Uh, believe it or not, I have not played this game myself at all. I'm literally just playing it for the YouTube right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's start. <laughs> the door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. <laughs> I love these old uh, loading screens. Anywho, so, let's get right into it. Funny enough, it's been so long that I've completely forgotten the objective right now, so... Let's see what we've got, let's see what must be done. Right then. Oh, let's leave that behind, because we don't need that shit. What's he got? So neither of us has the shotgun. We've already defeated that big massive thing. So we've got a blue key card. Let's see what that's going to take us. This key card is used to unlock an electronic door. To the lead car. Alright, oh, okay. I know what to do. So he's got shotgun shells and no shotgun. Let's dump those behind. He's on caution, so... I mean, she's on caution, so I'm going to need to get some green herbs for her. Alright. Rebecca, there's the liver, the card reader, and I do, believe it or not. Here we go. Won't be needing this key card anymore. Fair enough. Throw it right away. Right then, let's orientate ourselves around the map of the train so that I know what I need, what I need to get. So, we got a herbal mix. Uh-huh, right. So most of the stuff I've left in the back of the train. That's a first aid spray. Well, technically we don't want to waste any of this stuff, so... I guess what we'll have to do is simply grab it all once the train crashes. Let's go. Might as well switch over to this guy. Oop. Right then. Come on. Okay. Delta team, this is Delta team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. 
How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? <laughs> well, they got fucked up. Right then, well, I'm kind of expecting a leech monster over there, so teeny tiny probability that not bringing the shotgun was a bad idea. Where did I leave the shotgun anyway? I would imagine it's probably somewhere on this floor. So I've got a hook shot. Where did I leave the shotgun? <laughs> right in the back of the train. Oh well, fair enough. So, Billy's got some fire grenades on him. I would imagine. Oh yes, he does. Brilliant. Okay, so, in any case, we're well prepared. What do we have here? Dead soldier. One side is covered in slime. <laughs> well, after what happened, uh, I'm not surprised at all. The engine chamber is badly damaged. There is no way to fix it, yet the train is still running somehow. <laughs> That windshield wiper win <laughs> frame rate is absolutely amazeballs. I gotta stop this thing. Yep, no shit, Sherlock. Right, so brake operation manual. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Step one: activating the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations. First in the driver's compartment, rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. This will supply power to both sets of controls. Step 2. Enter rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit in to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment code can be entered. Step 3. Enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes can be used. Such a complicated system for something that is an emergency brake. It's a crazy umbrella. Right then, so who will stay behind? Rebecca, because she's got the lowest health. So I'd rather her stick around. Deck ...and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. Right then, let's grab this shit real quick. Yes, I'll take it. Yes, I'll take it. Damn right, I'll take it. You cannot carry this item right now. Reason being... That. Ah, shit. Alright. Take the magnetic card. I don't think I'm gonna need the hook shot. I am gonna need this, however. Alright, let's go. To the rear mobile.
Whoa, fuck me. Oh, shit. Get off me, perv. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna need to care about you anymore, so I might as well run past every zombie that I can from now on. Okay. Looks like this guy's alive again. I believe there's a cutscene when uh, Rebecca runs past him. I may be wrong. Whoa, shit. Wrong zombie. Bad time not to have a shotgun on me. A really bad time not to have a shotgun on me. Oop. Nah, fuck it. Don't need it. It's gonna arrive for me later anyway. When a train crashes. Inevitably. <laughs> Sorry for the spoilers for those of you who have never played this game before. Oh, there he is! And that's my missing cutscene. Oh well, nothing I could do. <laughs> Rebecca was a little bit wounded, so I figured better not use her for this. I'll leave that for Rebecca later. I'm not gonna need any of this stuff for now anyway. Okay, I'm in the rear of the car now, so... There's a hand-operated brake here. You need a magnetic car to operate it. Good. Okay, let's slam this one in. Time for a puzzle. Let's see how good my Resident Evil skills are. Right then, you can use a stop right to break. Seventy-two. Shit, too many steps. I done fucked up. Okay. Alright, so that's nine 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 eight one. That's better. This is Billy. I've engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger, I'll put the brake on now. Okay, she's probably got something similar to do. Come on. Ooh. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Let's not forget about the ammo, because I'm not sure if it spawns up uh, after the crash if you don't pick it up. Alright then, so we need 36. Shit, I'm gonna need a calculator for this. So that's... 1, 2, 3... Well, I done fucked up. <laughs> what do you know? Hmm. I'm gonna need a calculator for this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, calculator, 36 divided by 10, no, that doesn't help me at all, <laughs> shit, um, <laughs> well,
I should have written, uh, <laughs> read a guide about this. Right. I think it's probably for the best if I pause this video and get a real guide on this one because not very useful. <laughs> Shit. Oh uh, well, this is embarrassing. I'll see you in the next video.